Uh, in this video, we just want to talk about the alpha and the beta roots. And want to understand how we get to find the new equation when we are given the, the roots of uh, the new equation. Okay, so in this question, we are told given that alpha and beta are the roots of uh, the equation that. So quickly write down the equation that we've been given. What's the equation? So equation is x squared minus 4x plus 2 is equal to 0. That's our equation. And we've been taught to say alpha and beta are the roots of that equation. Okay, so one thing that we need to understand is every time we're dealing with alpha and beta, we need to understand what the summation of the roots are. So we understand that the summation of alpha and beta is equal to negative b over a. And then we would also know that the product of alpha and beta is equal to c over a. Okay, so if we're able to do this, then it's going to be much easier. So first of all, quickly, we would have to handle looking at this equation. So when you look at this equation, what do we know? So we know the coefficient of our x squared is 1. The coefficient of x is 4, 2. So that is a, b, and c, respectively. So if we quickly determine the summation of alpha and beta. So it's going to be the negative. Our b is negative 4. Our a is a 1. And then we'll go to the other one, alpha multiplied by beta. Our c is 2. Our a is 1. So what do we have? So we have 4, and then we have 2. So we found now the addition of alpha and beta, which is a 4. Okay? And then there it's a 2. So I write the 2. So we have a 4 and a 2. Now, looking at the equation that they want us to find, they want us to use alpha plus 3 and beta plus 3. Those are the roots of the new what? Of the new equation. So, equally we would have to handle it the same way. We'll look at our roots in that case. We need to add them first of all. So we have alpha plus 3 and then we'll add it with the other root which is beta plus 3. So, whenever you're trying to simplify this, we'd have to put them in the form of addition of beta and also multiplication. So here the only thing we can do is uh, we can collect the like terms, right? So we have alpha and beta. So alpha and beta can be added and then we have plus what? Plus 6. Okay, so we've expressed it in the sum of alpha plus beta because 3 plus 3 is 6. The other side, we need to multiply. So the roots that we have of our new equation is alpha plus 3 and then beta plus 3. We are multiplying them. So what happens if you get to multiply there? So alpha times beta is alpha beta, you have 3 alpha, you have 3 beta, and then you have a 9. Okay, so at this point, we can factorize a 3. So if you factorize a 3, you are going to remain with alpha plus beta plus 9. So we've expressed all this in the form of addition of beta and also multiplication. Now realize that the equation that we were given, we, we, we just helped us to get the value of alpha plus beta and also the product of alpha, beta. So we can quickly substitute. So where we have addition, the answer is 4. So we have 4 plus 6, giving us a 10. The other side, we'd have to substitute where we are multiplying there. Okay? So let me just erase that. So... Alpha beta at that point is equivalent to what? So alpha beta is 2. Now 3 outside, inside we have addition which is a 4 plus 9. So what answer are we going to get there? So 2 plus, that is 12 plus 2, 14. 14 plus 9, it gives us what? Mathematics, 23. So we have 23 there. Are all our values correct? So we had alpha plus 3, and then we we'll just substituted the given values that we had calculated there. Okay, so that's fine. So at this point, what basically do you do for you to handle the question there? So one thing that we're going to do is this. So we, we are having a part where we are adding our roots of a new equation and also a part where we are multiplying. So we did understand that from the initial point, 
we do know that the multiplication, which is alpha by beta, is c over a. So we equate our 23 to c over a. And then our addition, which we found to be our term, is supposed to be equated to what? Negative b over what? Over a. So how do we get to find the values of a, b, and c to get our new equation? So that's what basically we want to focus on. So at this point, it becomes easy. So we want to make sure that a, the value of a is the same. So we just have a 1 on both ends. So our value of a is 1. Now on top, on this part, negative b is equated to 10. So b becomes negative 10. On this part, c is equated to 23 directory. So therefore, our value of a, b, and c are that. So we know the form of the quadratic equation is x squared plus b, x plus c. So our value of a has been found to be 1. So it will be just x squared. b is minus 10x. And then our c is 23. So this is basically how you get to find uh, the new root when you are given alpha and beta to be the roots of the equation. So you just use the alpha and beta, add them, multiply them, and equate them to, of course, what they are equal to. Of course, the takeaway point is the product is C over A. The summation is negative B over A. So if you know that, then you are home and dry. So after you found the values of alpha beta and alpha plus beta, then you just have to use now the new roots, add them, and also multiply them, and then try to substitute the values that you've calculated for alpha plus beta and alpha by beta to help you find their values of their summation and also their product, and then equate them to C over A and negative B over A and find the values of A, B, and C. Then you're okay.